What is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new video for you all today. So today I am going to be pickpocketing heroes for 10 hours because thanks to a recent update on May 8th, you can now pickpocket heroes and receive an elite clue scroll at a rate of 1 in 2,000. And as a matter of fact, six days after that update, they reduced this rate to 1 in 1,400. So here we are with the hero and we also have 99 thieving as well as the full rogue set. We are also going to be using Shadow Veil, which is on the Archaeus spellbook. Gotta quickly turn our menu entry swapper on so we can left click pickpocket the hero. And on top of all of that, we are also going to be using dodgy necklaces. So with dodgy necklaces, Shadow Veil, and my thieving level, hopefully this reduces the rate of getting stunned. And we're going to see just how many elite clue scrolls that we can get in a time span of 10 hours. Because if the drop rate is 1 in 1400, this may be a little bit of a spoiler, but I can guarantee you guys that we can pickpocket at least 1000 heroes an hour. So that should mean, you know, like an hour and 20, an hour and 30 minutes for every elite clue scroll. Now, that's not the greatest rate, but it's not too bad considering uh, it's just so hard to get elite clue scrolls in this game. Well, hard isn't the right word. I would say it just, it's a little time consuming is all. Before we continue on today, this video is brought to you by Boot.dev. Boot.dev is building the smartest way to master backend development by tackling the hardest problem with e-learning, and that is boredom. Their platform uses tactics learned from modern game design to push ambitious students towards their goal, a career in backend development. Through hands-on lessons that balance theory with practice and an active Discord community, students are prepared to tackle technical interviews and forge a successful programming career. You're going to be earning XP, levels, achievements, and you're going to be completing quests to get a top spot on the global leaderboard, just like an OSRS. And hey, if you're ever completely stuck or you just want to see how the instructor wrote the code, there are solutions available for every challenge on the site. Programming have amazing earning potential. According to Stack Overflow, the median salary for backend developers in the US in 2023 was over $100,000, and you often have the option to work remotely or from home as a programmer. So learn how to code today by clicking the link in the description box and use my code MrNoSleep to get 25% off your first payment for boot.dev. That is 25% off your first month or your first year, depending on which subscription that you choose. Boot.dev has helped out the channel so much, so so a big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. Well, there are all the drops on screen that uh, you can expect from pickpocketing the heroes. A few of them are stackable, so you'll see them in the inventory uh, grow over time, especially the coins and the runes. Probably going to be using all of the wine that I get just to use for HP so that I can extend my trips. But whenever I run out of my dodgy necklaces, uh, that's when I'm going to bank. So probably going to be leaving a little bit of gold ore on the ground. Uh, but for the most part, I did bank all of the cut diamonds and I also banked all of the fire orbs so that should be a decent amount of gp that'll definitely pay for this video in terms of like using dodgy necklaces and all of the runes required for shadow veil as you can see in the bottom left of the inventory i wanted to try out doing darts while doing pickpocketing but uh yeah no thanks you know can't play on multiple accounts and uh do darts and pickpocket it's just too much so don't bother with that if you don't want to just always nice to get uh, some fletching xp while skilling but either way i was really excited to see that they added this as an update i mean you can pickpocket anything and kill anything in the world for hard clues, medium clues, easy and beginners. But for some reason, Jagex has always made it a little difficult to receive elite clues. I think the other method in game that's popular is burning Urium remains, which I just made a video on a few months ago. And you burn these remains to get golden keys, and then you open up chests in hope of getting an elite clue. And you get prayer XP from that, you get fire making XP from that. It might even be profitable, but it gets boring. So let's try out this method today. We just finished up with almost the first hour here. Now this one was a really successful hour uh, compared to my other hours, I will say, just looking at that XP overall. 193k XP somehow, and if you price check all of the loose items, looks like 91k, plus the coins, we're looking at 535k. 1136 heroes pickpocketed in that hour, um, uh, just about 200 shy of the drop rate for the elite clue, so, uh, but yeah, I will say that was my best hour. Usually I was averaging like 170k XP an hour, I believe, so must have just been on one for that specific hour, but either way, it did not take too long to get our first elite clue scroll. Overall, 1700 heroes were pickpocketed, a little over an hour and 30 minutes for that. I don't mind the thieving XP as well, and plus on top of that, you're getting a consistent 500k profit an hour, so that's always good, and you do have the chance at the raccoon pet, which I, I mean, I have no skilling pets on my main, so it'd be really nice, well, I mean, I have the chinchampa, but it'd be really nice to add to that collection. It's been dry for seven years now, so, you know, where's my pet? 
But guys, I do want to say something about this method. You know how my inventory is full so much of the time just with fire orbs and diamonds and whatnot? So if you're going to be able to get an elite clue while doing this, do you guys know if it's going to spawn on the ground while your inventory is full? Or do you have to have inventory space in order to receive an elite clue? And the only reason I want to ask you guys is because all of the elite clues that were received in this video, I had inventory space. Just so happens that, you know, they didn't spawn on the ground. So yeah, with our second elite clue now, we're just going to be juggling. Uh, the second one didn't take as long as the first. I did receive the second elite clue one hour after I received the first. So those are going to sit on the ground for the next 60 minutes as long as you continue to juggle them. Even if you log out for uh, hours on end, every time you log back into that same spot, they will be there for you. So we're going to just juggle all of them on the ground throughout this whole video. And then after 10 hours is finished, we'll price check all the loot. We'll look at all the XP, see if we don't get that thieving pet. And then we'll do all of those elite clues. I'm not making them into masters because this video is all dead dedicated just to the elite tier. Plus, I've done over 500 elites and I never got anything good, so today might be the day. But either way, I love skilling. You guys have seen a lot of skilling content from me this month because Jagex really emphasized a lot of skilling updates related to thieving, mining, agility. I mean, you name it, they did it. So I'm going to cover it. And uh, yeah, I might be doing uh, pickpocketing gnomes for 10 hours for medium clue scrolls. A lot of people are curious how those gnomes are doing, so I might go venture on to the Grand Tree and do that next. But either way, it'll be skilling related for the next video. Video. It was really nice to hit 22 million thieving XP while doing this grind. Uh, still on the long-term journey to hit 30 mil XP and all skills on this account. Different XP goals for my main and my Iron Man, but that is definitely one for the main. Quick update regarding from Barrows to Best in Slot, my Iron Man series. A lot of comments recently wondering where that series is. I have some good news for you guys. I'm uh, actually filming it now, so you guys should see it early June. Maybe the second week of June, you're going to see the next episode, and it's going to be a good one. So yeah. Yeah, we're not giving up that series, but you know, with due dates and whatnot, that's why that was pushed back a little bit. All right, so to continue on with today with the heroes, uh, we're halfway into the video so far, 2 million GP, and it looks like we've pickpocketed over 5,200 heroes so far. So on average, you know, it looks like the XP rates are going down as time goes on. What can I say? I think it just had an excellent first hour, but in general, we're always going to manage to pickpocket about 1,000 heroes an hour. And, and I shouldn't say 1,000 heroes, you're more so pickpocketing getting one hero a thousand times. But, I mean, that's a thousand opportunities at an elite clue scroll, so uh, it's definitely been some time since our last one. What's it been, like four and a half hours now? So I'm, I'm definitely struggling, uh, but, you know, consistent 500k an hour is keeping me going. But where is our third elite clue scroll? I mean, we should be close to three hours left to go now. This is not looking good. Well, here we are. We have three hours left to go. Uh, it's been about four hours and 30 minutes, give or take, and here we are with our third elite clue scroll. So I did have inventory space for that third one as well. It just took astronomically long to receive. So let's go ahead and drop that on the ground. We now have three elite clues. Let's hope our luck picks up for these remaining three hours because I'm just not impressed with this method at all. I mean, it's cool and all, but the fail rate is so high, even with Shadow Veil, Dodgy Necklaces, and 99 Thieving. I, I don't know if the Ardone Diaries help here or not, but I mean, it's just really high compared to like Ardone Knights or anything else really. So, yeah, I mean, I guess Jagex couldn't make it so common to get an elite clue here. Otherwise, that would devalue uh, Masters, that would devalue Third Age. And I mean, have you guys seen the prices of Third Age recently? I recently sold off a Third Age wand. I bought it for 600 mil. I sold it for 750. And I thought I was smart, you know, for once with RuneScape GP, because that, that almost never happens. And uh, now it's at 1.2 bill. So, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just don't know with investments. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't want to see Third Age tank, because my ultimate dream on this game is to get a third age item that preferably is uh, in the max coin uh, area of price rather than like a couple hundred mil. What can I say? I have high expectations. So uh, yeah, that's why I was intrigued to do this video. I mean, elite clue caskets give you third age just like masters do. So you never know what can happen. But all I know from this 10 hour experience is this is not it. If you want to get elite clues, don't come here because uh, I'm about to come up on 10,000 pickpockets and I've only received three elite clues. And I would say the catch to this is maybe my inventory was full the whole time and I just had no ability to get elites unless my inventory wasn't full. I just, I haven't been able to confirm this so I'm sure someone's going to quickly leave a comment below confirming or denying it and we'll see. But yeah guys not the greatest uh, results with this one. 10 hours time spent and only 3 elite clues obtained. I mean maybe if I make them into masters it'll be a better investment since we only got 3 of them but nah I stuck to my word. We're going to just do the elite clues and uh, luckily we don't need a fighter torso for those. You know what I mean? So 
anyway, with that being said, uh, the 10 hours is just about up here. Let's go check the overall XP, and then let's go price check all of the items, and then we'll get to those elite clue caskets. Well, if it turns out that uh, if your inventory is full and you can't receive an elite clue, I'll just redo the video, because uh, I like pickpocketing, and I never got the Rocky pet, and that's just such a cool pet, you know, little raccoon. All right, let's price check everything. 288 fire orbs. Didn't really bank that many gold ore or wines, but 150 diamonds, 3.8 mil coins, 800 bloods, 2,600 deaths, overall loot, 4.8 mil. I mean, you know, 480k GP an hour, as well as 1.7 mil XP in 10 hours. Translates to about 170k XP an hour. Three elites and 10,250 pickpockets. And quick reminder to check out boot.dev in the description below. Code Mr. No Sleep for 25% off. But all right, let's go ahead and get these caskets. There's one, there's two, and here comes three. Yeah, those were some nice elites to do. Much more comfortable than masters. From our first elite clue, we did manage to get a master clue. 422k as well. I died at Aberrant Spectres, but it happens. Uh, from the 518th one on my account, 32k, 519, 101k. It's so bad, but uh, that's all right. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the master clue that we got. This will be my 364th master. Um, nothing really from that. So about one mil extra from the clue scrolls. Well, that is going to be it for this one, guys. Overall, three elite clues in 10 hours. Um, I'm beginning to think that even if my inventory was full most of the time and that was preventing me from getting elites, I still don't think this would be a great method. But let me know in the comments below because I'm still a little confused about that. All right, a big thank you to the YouTube channel members uh, for your monthly support and a special sh with a special shout out to Let Us Attack, X Exotic X, and Deception Z. See you guys tomorrow with a new one. Until then, Mr. No sleep out.